In this screencast, I'll show you how to check and change the units of measure that are being used in your process simulation. And I'll also show you how to define the chemical components that are going to be used in the simulation. So to start with, for the units of measure, you have to click on this icon that looks a little bit like a ruler on this top toolbar up here. So we click on units of measure and we can see lots of different process parameters and the units that are going to be used for these. Now the default parameters are all referred to as English units. Now you can then go through these and change them to a range of different parameters. So you just click each drop down menu and select the units that you wish to use. Something that's a little bit simpler which will perhaps help you is to click on this button up here and it brings up this initialize units of measure from a UOM library. So that stands for units of measure library. Click on this drop down menu and if you select SI set one and press OK then I think you'll see that this brings up units that are a little bit more familiar and perhaps a little bit more useful for you. And then we can click OK and now if we just click on the units of measure again you can see that all of those have been accepted they've stayed the same based on this SI library okay now to define the chemical components that are going to be used in the simulation we need to click on the icon up here that looks a little bit like a benzene ring and what we can do is we can select the components from a list click on commonly used we search in this search string box up here if we type meth it brings up the different commonly used chemical components beginning with METH and we're going to select methanol and we need to add the component before we click OK otherwise it won't be there it won't be used we can also search for water H2O we can add that component click OK and now we've got those two chemical components for our process simulation um, we click OK and this icon has now got a blue line before it was red saying that there was some action or input needed and it's gone blue now saying that we've specified enough information for that to be OK for, to work for this process simulation OK Overall, that is how you can check and change the units of measure and how you can define the chemical components that are going to be used in your process simulation.